Hello, my name is Mandy Goheen, and I'm the Director of Prison Ministry here at the Church of the Larger Fellowship. And this month we've been talking about miracles. And I will tell you that we really are blessed with an abundance of miracles in the prison ministry, specifically when we look at the miracle of relationships. We find that through our pen pal program and through our correspondence with our over 850 members who are incarcerated, that the relationships are the key. They might not move as fast as they do in the outside world, but they're the key to deepening into our spirituality and deepening into our understanding of the divine. Jewish theologian Martin Buber said that there are two kinds of relationships. There's the I and it relationship where we refer to where we talk at people and maybe don't listen properly and treat them more like an object than an actual person. And then there's the I and thou relationship where we are interacting with them in a way where the presence of the divine comes in, where we see each other as mutually exchanging in the relationship. He says the following, Meet the world with the fullness of your being, and you shall meet God. And he's really talking there about the fullness of your being as meeting people in relationship with the fullness of your being. And I wanted to to tell you a little story about me not meeting someone with the fullness of my being and how that changed for me over the past year. I visit a young man on death row and I go see him at least once a month whenever I am able and when I first visited him it was very much the I and it relational exchange. I had these tremendous boundaries around me and I even laid it out to him and said, you know, I'm just here for friendship. I'm not going to help you with your case. I'm not going to send you money. All I'm here to do is visit you once a month and listen to you and we'll talk and that's it. That's all I'm doing for you. And now that I reflect back on that, it seems a little harsh. But one of my jobs at the CLF is to help our pen pals and people who are doing visitation to maintain good boundaries. So I thought when I began that I was modeling that. But what I've found over the past year is that our relationship has really transformed from an I and it relationship where I'm objectifying him and, and label him, labeling him perhaps as a prisoner or as a person who committed a crime to this evolution into an I and thou relationship where we become very important to each other and that he supports me as much as I support him in our exchanges of letters in between visits. On my last visit, this became extremely apparent to me because I almost could feel the shift happening. I was looking at his face and listening to what he said, and I had this per parental feeling of wanting to get him braces. And I was thinking about how wonderful his smile was, and what if I could just get him braces? What would that change? And I started thinking about, you know, the different things that I could do for him to make his life easier. I always worry what it's like to live every day in a cell and to be confined and what that does to the spirit, especially because my other relationship that I really value is a relationship with nature. So I asked him a question and it, and it really threw me off. I asked, I said, when is the last time you went outside? And he scratched his head and he said, Hmm, a year and a half? I was shocked. I can't imagine being inside a place of oppression and pressure and stagnant space for a year and a half without seeing the sunlight. You know, communing with nature is so important for my spiritual well-being that I was just really 
overwhelmed by the idea that he had never been outside in a year and a half. And I was, once again, this parental feeling sort of overwhelmed me, and I wanted to advocate for him to not be on 24-hour solitary confinement. He's supposed to have an hour outside every day. The prison is well-staffed. There's really no reason for this. And so before I knew what was coming out of my mouth, I said, you know, I'd really like your attorney's phone number if that's okay with you. And he looked at me kind of startled, and I looked at him, and I said, you know, I really want to advocate for you to be able to at least go outside. I don't know if I can help you with your appeals process or I can what I can help you with, but I'd really just love that the next time I visited you to find out that you had seen the sunshine. In our time together and as we build trust in relationships, things can really change. I'm sure that you've had a relationship where when you started out, your boundaries are different than they are today. And I'm sure that you've had a relationship where you felt perhaps the warmth of the divine as part of your relationship. And maybe you don't believe in that. Maybe it's just the pleasure of being in, in proximity to someone and really taking the time to listen and really being heard at the same time that helps feed you as a person. I know over the past year that my expectations of this young man have changed. And I know that his identifying with me has changed in the mutuality of the whole situation is what I really believe brings the divine into the relationship. And I'm looking forward to going and seeing him again this month to see how I might be surprised by the miracle that is our relationship and how we both can grow together through that. May it be so, and blessed be.